This one is a electrovel brand, 30 kVA bimetal blade wood builder. On this you can build bimetal blades as well as carbon steel blades from 27 mm to 54 mm wide. Now we'll show you the parts. This over here is a microcontroller type AY01 for adjusting the parameters for welding. This here is a auto annealer for annealing the blade after the weld is done. Here we have a parallel. Then this one is a regulator for adjusting the weld pressure. In the left bottom side we have the clamping current nut ball for the left side cylinder. On the top we have coronet wall for clamping the right side cylinder. At the bottom we have a coronet wall for welding cylinder. So these are the clamping cylinders. Here we have chromium zirconium copper welding jars where you have to hold the blades. Here we have an emergency stop and indicating lamp. This one here is the welding switch. This one here is a current vector switch. This one is a water separating pump on off switch. These are the two foot switches for clamping the blades. Left is for the left side, and the right is for the right side. You have to connect the air supply, say 90 psi, to the inlet of the FRL, and then adjust the parameters. You can keep the climbing pressures to 90 psi, then the welding pressure, say for 1.25 inch blade, is 30 psi. Then, here, yeah, we can adjust the parameters for welding. We will show you how to do that. This one here is the on off switch. This is a schedule select switch. You can select different schedules for different thicknesses and widths. Here, schedule number 1 we have selected and fed the welding data for 1 inch blade. For schedule 2 we have fed the data for 1.25 inch blade. For schedule number 3 we have fed the data for 1.5 inch blade. And in schedule number 4 we have fed the data for 64 mm wide blades. After selecting this schedules, you can go to any of the schedules. Say you want to go to schedule number 1, you can just decrease this number. Or if you want to go to schedule number 2, decrease this number. Or you can switch off this and go to the program selection. For welding 1.25 inch diameter blades, we have selected squeeze time 50 cycles that you can reduce and increase depending upon your requirements. Then you can enter the button, make it 0000, zero, zero, zero till you come to W2. This is a weld cycles. We kept 90 cycles. This also can be reduced or increased. In this case, here is the heat percentage. This we have set for 1.25 inch parameter blades. Same also can be reduced or decreased or increased. And this is a full time that is not required. So you can keep it zero. This is all zero, zero, zero. Then this is the whole time we have kept about 92 cycles. 
can be decreased or increased. This is half time, you can keep one cycle. This is zero. And this data is set for the welding 1.25 inch diameter blades. When you want to do the welding, you have to switch on this knob and then you can start welding after adjusting the gap between the two welding jaws. This is the gap adjusting lever. This is the gap adjusting lever. Now at the scale to read, you can adjust to say about number 10 for welding the 1.25 inch blades and make sure we already adjusted then you can clamp the blades like this touching the front stopper see that the blade is in the center of the Welding jaws. Like this. Then clamp the blades. Then you can press this switch for welding. You will see welding taking place. Now you can declamp the blade. Take out the blade. This is how it's welded. For annealing, you can take the lever back to maximum position so that maximum gap is created over here. Then you can again clamp the blade. See that the welded joint is the center of the Building jaws. decrease depending upon your blade width this is how it is milled Take out the 